Okay, it's Monday morning, bright and early. Well, not so bright. Stormy outside, it's raining. But I'm out here in the shop and I'm gonna finish this TV bracket. So I worked all the kinks out yesterday and turned out pretty well. Uh, and I didn't mill into the vise. Pretty exciting job, I really like how it turned out. I really enjoy the mill scale that compl that's complemented by the milled portions. I mentioned in the last video, I, I was going for a steampunk look and I, and I really like this, it turned out well. Uh, the eight millimeter little screw bolt things that I, that I plan on using to affix this to the French cleat, they worked out, the tapping worked out perfectly. I had one minor adjustment, I'm gonna adjust this, this depth once more. I, I had a little bit of a ridge, a little bit of a burr that I had to take off with the grinder but I've adjusted that. Instead of going down five millimeters from the top of this contour, I'm gonna go down 5.5. And so it should overlap by half a mil on, on, on either side when I flip it. And we'll see how that goes. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna post the NC code, probe it. Let's, let's mill this part.
That was cool. <laughs> Wasn't that cool? Some CNC porn right there. All right, so that, that extra uh, half a mil in depth was perfect. I have a perfect, a perfect part. Absolutely perfect, everything went well. I will say that the, the drill bit on this hole, it sounded just as crusty yesterday. These two sounded really good. The tap went in through and this one sounds crusty, so. I think, I think I'll think about that. All right, next step. Let's put this on some French cleat and hang up the TV. got it all hooked up now the moment of truth I think two concerns do I have enough room to clear this these uh, brackets which I if I don't I can just remove this shelf this is a see how this works you just cut these little like a, like cookie cutter little shapes and then you can put a shelf anywhere you want anywhere you want in the shop totally movable but anyway so do I have enough space here and will the cables clear? I think they will. So I've gone ahead and taken these screws out. So this should lift off this base and then I'll set it on. So let's see if it works. Do some cable management. 
Okay, here we go. That's fantastic. All right, I got a, I got a few loose ends to, to tie up here. Do a little bit of cable ma management, maybe some cable ties, make this look nice. So I don't have cables flopping around. But altogether, I'm very pleased. That worked out well. I have, let's see, I can, I can slide this wherever I want. Now obviously, it doesn't have the capability of tilting, right? Or rotating out, but that's okay. That is okay. That's not the point. The point is to give me a second monitor, which I have, which I can show you. Whoops, I don't know what I just clicked. <laughs> Where I can show you what I'm doing, which I think is a success. Thanks for tuning in and look for a a fairly big project coming up soon. I think I have most of the metal sourced. I need to, to uh, cut it to my stock size, but I'm gonna be doing a big one. Should be fun. Take care.